Yo, what's up, Eddie? So check this out. I got your 101. This is Eddie's 101. I got it connected to this junk screen right here. You can see it's junk. I mean, it's not the worst junk I've ever seen, but it's got it's like really yellow. I don't know. It's not really showing up on the camera, but trust me, this is this is a junk screen. I mean, I could probably sell it for maybe like ten bucks, but I wouldn't like give it to somebody, you know? Like, I I don't know. It might be worth working on, but regardless, let's say it's got a trash screen like you're talking about, right? So um, I'll show you how to cut it out. Basically, you want to get like a standard one millimeter razor blade. You can find these anywhere. Um, and you're going to cut really carefully along the outside here. Um, what you're not going to do is you're not going to cut this bottom half, right? Because obviously the ribbon's right here. <clears throat> you want to stay as far away from that as possible. But there is a separation layer in between the metal and the lens right there. And that's basically where you want to insert the blade um, and again, you're not going to go over here. You want to stay away from the ribbon, and you're just going to kind of gently insert it like that. And very slowly penetrate all the way till you start to see it creep. You see that? Where it starts to come in on the lens itself? Okay? Now at that point, you can rotate. And just start slicing and be cognizant of where your fingers are so you don't want to fucking cut yourself either all right and just kind of slowly it's like medium pressure don't don't force it and you're angling the blade up you angle it into the lens right because nobody nobody cares if you trash the lens right because um, it's already trash but you don't want to scratch the screen itself okay now it's slowly going around the top goes really easy there's uh, there's not a ton of adhesive there. Okay. And you're going to round the corner here. Carefully. All right. And then you can round this corner too. But again, you really don't want to go very far at all. You just want to stay the hell away from that ribbon. So I'm going to get in there just a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to pull out. And now at this point, you're going to wedge up because you still have adhesive here along the bottom, but you can wedge up against it and kind of slowly, slowly pressure it off and twist a little bit. And there you go. There's your released SP-101. You'll get, get rid of these little fuzzies and stuff. Don't worry about them too much. Just... Get rid of the stuff that's, like, obnoxiously sticking out. And then you can just plop your adhesive right back on top. I mean, if you have all the time in the world, you can sit here and pick at it and get it completely off. But you don't You don't need to. Like, it's going to have the pressure of the case pushing it on all sides. Like, it's not going to come loose on its own. I would just get rid of, like, this fringe on the outside. Just try really hard not to touch the screen itself, right? Just kind of get your fringe off. Because when you push it back down, that fringe might push itself awkwardly and be, like, visible on the screen. All right, well, there you go. You're off to the races, my friend. Good luck. Oh, yeah, and one more note for you, too, is um, when you go to apply the lens, um, do it with the screen on. Figure out what you need to do, like build the rest of the Game Boy first, but do it with the screen on. So that way you can kind of hover over and get perfect alignment as you squish it back down, right? And do the do the standard thing. Um, that being, um, hit it with some compressed air right before you go down. And uh, I recommend doing it in a humid environment like a, like a bathroom with the hot water running. All right. Well, that's it, man.